So the first step is to attach our face armature to some kind of uh, board or sculpting stand. I'm just using regular pottery clay here and I'm just going to model my look, the mask I'm going to create. Now you can use the wet clay as well, you could even use the chiffons or plastilines to do this stage. So I'm creating a kind of mutant character here. So I'm using various wooden tools and loop tools and wire tools that you can get from Neil's materials. I'm going to incorporate one of the eyes of our armature so you'll be able to see out of this mask but the other eye I'm going to use one of our eye forms to give us a nice eyeball shape. Once finished we're going to make our plaster mould so we take our case mould, our shell here which we place over our sculpture. We make sure there's plenty of clearance over and above the clay to make sure we don't end up with a plaster mould that's too thin. Now you cut a hole in the top where we're going to pour plaster and we staple it down thoroughly. We then go around the outer edges with tape and really tape it tight so it's as watertight as possible. I then mix up an entire bucket of plaster, keeping it quite fluid, pour it in, shake it about to release any air bubbles and leave it to stand for a couple of hours. Now you'll know when the plaster's set it will go from hot to cold. Once cold you can remove staples, remove the tape and then we can remove the vacuform jacket. Now this might split and tear apart, but it's designed to do that. It's a, it's a kind of waste mold. So once we've removed the face armature, we can then clean all the clay out. If you leave it for a little bit, that clay will kind of dry a little bit, so it should peel out quite easily. And there you have it, a finished mold, all ready to make your mask.